The sky was full of stars, flowers full-blown, forts and fracture planes rising and ebbing with the tide. We had the entire stretch to ourselves, well worth the trip. For its unspoiled white sand, crystal blue shallows, the sea's peaks jostled like faces in a crowd, reflecting mind, analysing my reflection. Sometimes I feel an almost physical weight lifting from my head when I see the water. Take my shoes off, get naked and jump in. The crashing waves all around me drown the gentle song. Like a dumbfounded child, I don't have to think about how I appear to other people. Less likely to be seen or watched. A lack of obligation to the world. Me and my inner animal have reconnected, pretending not to be a monkey in an outfit. I missed me. Light teasing me through the window in the confines of this room, I locked eyes with an urban fox. I always feel a little bit on edge in a built environment. I like the feel of my feet on the earth, as it tells me my place between my toes. To explore, to wander, not be hemmed in, framed by the blues, greens and browns, being part of something permanent and infinite. A kind of freedom to be around everything, yet nothing. I feel in harmony with the land. I escape into a world of my own which is populated with birds and song, leaving expectations, fears, control behind. Green spaces give my mind breathing space. A change of thinking pace, symmetry in flowers and the shapes of trees, as if they had been sculpted by nature. Slow, languid battles for sunlight, breathe deeply and listen. A piercing bird song, high above. I heard the pine cones popping. We tried to catch the seeds, but they were too small and too fast. There are so many memories in the forest. The whispering quiet of trees, rooted, blazing triumph. Below the earth's rustling skin is a network, searching roots going where I cannot. Gentle tendrils feeling forward with whispers and quiet negotiations, planted firmly to keep us close. Amidst the horrors that mankind inflicts on each other and on this earth, kicked around displaced by feet, oh like broken stones, through the rust on cars when the ice caps melt after work filled stressful days, let's run in circles through the grass. This connection soothes without words, zoom, whoosh, let the cold clean air alight, alone with no man-made noise puts things into perspective. Nature adapts itself to survive. Once upon a post-glacial clock, I reassembled it, built a birdhouse, a place of calm in the middle of a kaleidoscope, a spot of harmony for all people, all trying to get home.